We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is another day that God has given us, another day to rejoice, another day to be glad, another day to press on and refuse to give up because God is with you. Don't give up on God because He won't give up on you. He is faithful and He is fighting for you. He is delivering you. He is making a way even right now you can be rest assured that God is with you. My dear friend, in this life we face many situations that revolve around relationships and the people we have around us. Sometimes people treat us badly, sometimes we experience toxic behavior from others. Sometimes we experience behavior that could make us feel bad, that could make us feel down, that could affect our happiness. And it's important that we draw the line, which is why today I want to speak to you. And the title of my message is How to Set Up Boundaries with Toxic People. Now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. I'm going to share some word with you and some points, but it's always good to begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. So wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender. And say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and help me to pray today. Speak to me through this word and help me. Let my life be changed. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the first key that I want to give you, I'm going to give you some keys and three keys to be precise. The first key comes from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 37. It says, But let your yes be yes, and your no, no. For whatever is more than this is from the evil one. My dear friend, with regards to people, all people around you, regardless of what relationship you have with that individual or those people around you, with regards to all people, Jesus has given us a good way to live and to conduct ourselves. Sometimes we are tempted to go out there and make promises. Sometimes we are compelled and manipulated by other people around us and we don't know what to do. We don't know how to respond. But the key here is in the Bible. The Bible says, let your yes be yes, and your no, no. The first key that I want to give you is learn to say no when you need to. Learn to say yes when you feel that you want to go ahead with something. But don't allow yourself to be pressured into something you don't feel comfortable with. Don't go where you don't feel peace, where you don't feel the peace of God. Let your yes be your yes, and your no be your no. When in your heart you're okay with something, it's okay to say yes. But when in your heart you're not okay, you don't feel peace, you don't want to go ahead with something, but you're compelled by someone around you or manipulated into a situation and you feel the pressure on you, it is okay to say no. This is Jesus speaking when He said, Let your yes be yes, your no, no. Whatever is more than this is from the evil one. So whatever goes beyond what I've explained right now is from the evil one. If you say no and someone is still trying to manipulate you or force you to do something that you're not comfortable with, that's from the evil one. And that's the first key that we need to apply in our lives if we want to draw lines and set boundaries that people shouldn't cross. They shouldn't push you into a place that you're not comfortable. So the first key is feel comfortable saying yes or no. It's okay to say no. The second key is communicate. Many people 
miss out on this one. They feel afraid or they feel shy to communicate. Sometimes they feel that they may offend the other person or individuals if they communicate, if they speak how they feel concerning what has happened or the behavior that's just taken place. When you don't like something, express the fact that you don't appreciate it. Obviously, you can put it in a way that's not too offensive, but make it known that I don't appreciate this kind of behavior. It's very important in this lifetime to set up boundaries. It is very important because there are some individuals, sadly, the way they have been brought up, if they can find a way to push you around, they will. And the enemy will take maximum advantage of this. Because remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities. So if the enemy sees that someone is able to push you around, sooner or later that situation will be taken over by the enemy and you'll find yourself in a place where you're not comfortable. So it's important that you communicate how you feel concerning certain things. When you don't like something, it's okay to speak to the other person about it and say, I don't like this. It's okay to speak to that individual or individuals. It's okay to speak to your friends, your colleagues, and tell them, listen, I don't appreciate this kind of behavior. And if they are mature, they would be able to listen, understand, and accept it. Now the third key that I want to give you is don't entertain bad behavior. Apart from just communicating that you don't appreciate the kind of behavior that you've experienced, don't entertain it. It always starts from the place where we entertain bad behavior. It could be that someone's joking a bit too much or perhaps the jokes that they have and that they're sharing with you don't sit well with your spirit or they're doing something that goes against your conviction. Don't entertain bad behavior. If someone's behaving in a way that you don't appreciate, don't respond or join them or go along with what they're doing. But rather, hold your peace. And in this way, you will set the standard and an example. The moment that you go along with something that you're not comfortable with, you are sort of in a way saying, yes, this behavior is okay. The moment that you go along with something that goes against what you are comfortable with, you are subconsciously saying this behavior is okay, you are affirming it. Perhaps someone is cracking jokes about your God. Perhaps someone is making fun about the name of Jesus. You as a child of God, in those moments, shouldn't laugh at that. Don't even partake in such a joke. Would you laugh if someone is making jokes about one of your family members and it goes a bit too far? Obviously not. Now Jesus is our best friend and is our Lord and our Savior. And when someone out there is making jokes or trying to laugh or make fun of the faith. Don't entertain it. Don't laugh or join in on what they're doing. But let your silence speak louder than words. God is good. He is gracious. He gives us self-control. And most of all, He has given us the Holy Spirit. And at any time we can call on to God and say, Father, how do I deal with this? What do I do? How do I go about managing this situation? And He will be willing to speak to you and show you the way. Now I want to pray with you and for you that God will give you grace, that wherever there is anyone who is toxic around you and it's so bad that it's affecting your life, God will give you grace to overcome and to set things right and to set a healthy boundary so that that toxic relationship won't affect you anymore. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God 
And as we discern His presence, then I'll pray for you. And saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise You and we thank You. Thank You for Your goodness. Thank You for Your mercy. Thank You for Your love. Your love that's poured out in abundance even today. We thank You that You never leave us helpless. You never leave us alone. And You guide us. You speak to us. You show us the way. Even today, You are speaking to us. You are speaking to my dear friend. The fact that my dear friend is here and watching this video shows the desire to learn from you, from your way. Therefore, speak to my dear friend and guide my dear friend. We give you praise and thank you for your protection in my dear friend's life, your grace and your mercy and your guidance. And that no matter what my dear friend may go through, you will make a way, you will deliver, you will set free my dear friend. We give you praise and we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever there is anyone who is toxic for my dear friend and my dear friend doesn't know what to do, help my dear friend to draw the line. Help my dear friend to set boundaries, healthy boundaries, so that my dear friend's spirit is not affected by this toxic relationship. Give my dear friend grace to say yes when yes is okay to be said and no when no needs to be said. And give my dear friend grace not to fall victim to the hands of manipulation, but to be able to stand up and say no to stand up to bullies, to narcissists, to people who try to manipulate others and say, no, enough is enough. Give my dear friend grace to be able to communicate with their friends around them when they are not happy about something and to communicate it well without creating offense, without creating anger. Give my dear friend the grace to set the standard through their behavior and not to accept behavior that is not good, that is not positive, that is not uplifting. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, God is with you. He is always with you. He will never leave you helpless. He will never leave you alone. You can be rest assured that God's grace is sufficient. And no matter what you might go through, trust in Him. He will see you through. He will hold on to you so that you don't fall away. God bless you and thank you for watching this video for myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.